Hey, welcome back to today's new notebook. We have Leslie here with Voice of Hope here to talk about this weekend's Walk a Mile event, uh, Walk a Mile in Her Shoes event happening Saturday, correct? Correct. Uh -huh. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about this event. So this is an awareness to, uh, event to bring attention to sexual violence. Um, and we also want to show support for the victims of sexual violence. So it's it's a lighthearted event to get the community out and support our cause and just have fun at the same time. Gotcha. Um, so can you talk a little bit about um, the services Voice of Hope offers to mm -hmm. those in our community? So we're the crisis intervention part of the puzzle. So we offer um, crisis intervention, counseling. We're the ones that go to the hospital when a victim presents at the hospital. Um, we provide community education and primary prevention services. Um, we have a 24-hour sexual assault crisis hotline. Um, so basically, um, you know, the crisis intervention piece of the puzzle of anyone that's affected by sexual violence. Gotcha. And what is that um, hotline number? The hotline is 806-763, I'm sorry, 806-763-7273. Gotcha. And you said 24 7? 24 hours a day, you will get a person on the phone. Gotcha. And then talk a little bit about um, how long have you been doing Walk a Mile? This is our 15th Walk a Mile. We were the first ones to bring it to Texas, and it's an international march that is done all over the world. Um, and, and really, it just we just want to show support. Um, and get everybody out in the community um, to show support for the cause. Gotcha, and um, something that I believe Case Wilbanks has actually done it, um, I think there's pictures of him, um, you have the option of, of um, borrowing some red shoes to walk around Safety City with. Right, so the, the, the point of the walk is you never understand what a person goes through until you walk a mile in their shoes. So um, for the men, um, if they want to um, wear stiletto heels, we will have some out there that they can walk a mile in the stiletto heels. And it's not something that you absolutely have to do. It's no, just, you no, can wear, you, you can wear tennis shoes, you can wear flip-flops, you can wear... Anything you want. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Um, and so how do we register and um, how much is it? And um, just tell us about all of that. Um, so you can, on online registration goes through tomorrow. Um, you can go on our website, voiceofhopetexas.org and hit events and do the online res registration. It's $20, um, regular re registration 15 for students and 10 for kiddos and or we'll have on-site registration too um, you can register the morning of gotcha and um, maybe if you just want to go out and support maybe not walk you will have other um, in informational stuff out there and some food trucks and stuff correct yeah, we'll have food trucks we'll have first responder vehicles for the kiddos we'll have bounce houses face painting so it really is a, a, an event for the entire family gotcha and what time does it start again registration starts at noon and the march to, uh, kicks off at 1 p.m. at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. all right well we'll have all this information in the community news section of the KCBD News app wherever you stream KCBD News Channel 11. And if you're with an organization that has an event to promote, just go to kcbd.com notebook and submit your request. Coming up next, we have your entertainment news. Stay with us. We will be right back.